How's it going, everyone? So I, I have drawn up my complete device here. Uh, this is um, up to the point of stage two. Now, this device, I say, is has a potential of 60 megawatts. If you increase this device and you increase this device, you can have an output of up to 60 megawatts. Uh, this is the design. This is my Don Smith final. This is the SM60J. Smith machine, 60 joule. I said I was going to rate the devices by the joule rating that they are capable of switching. So this device is rated at up to 60 megawatts by design. All you're going to do is increase this, increase this, and you are going to get that. So, um... The Smith 60J. Uh, it's the pulse power. It's the amount of joule per pulse per second. So if I pulse this at one pulse per second, I'm going to have 60 watts output. Uh, 100 pulses per second, well, then I'm going to have uh, 600 watts. Uh, 1,000 pulses per second, 6 kilowatts, so forth. You know, they, it's very easy to calculate the output of these devices based on the amount of energy being switched. This does not take into consideration anything down the line. Earth energy, ambient energy, kickback, um, magnetic trapping, any of that. That is all over and above its rated switching ability. So, these are 60 joule devices. Uh, the spark gap uh, has the potential to produce uh, 1 million pulses if we supplied enough input at up to 60 joule uh, per second. And if you work that out, that's 60 megawatts, okay? Like, I, I, you know, I, I didn't make the rules on how this works. That's just how it works. You know, anybody can do the math and uh, see this is clearly <laughs> uh, sensible. So um, here's the design, uh, the complete design, the finalized design. These are my production models, and uh, I'm going to explain every detail to you. So let's go at it. Uh, the input is 20 to 70 volts v, uh, DC uh, from a source battery. I don't care what your source is. Could it could even be a solar panel. 20 to 70 volts DC. We have a buck converter involved that reduces the voltage down and the amperage down to whatever we select here so that we don't blow our shit up, right? Common sense. We have a meter here to monitor the amount of energy that is being consumed. We have a three-wire ZVS. It's rated at about 500 watts maximum power. Uh, you don't want to run it anywhere near that. You don't really need to. If you need more power, just add a second a second driver unit, a second resonance transformer, and gang the two together for your cap. Um, that's it, you know, if you need more power. Uh, what I've designed here, uh, it, this is my um, uh, resonant transformer design. It's center tapped, uh, 20 kV potential between both sides. This is the core material of the UY20 core with the extensions on it to allow me to build uh, the transformer of my design that my device requires. Uh, the next part of the device, you can see everything is drawn up here. The 30K, 35 nanofarad capped earth ground on the high side. Uh, the center tap comes off. The high voltage AC positive comes off. High voltage AC positive comes off. Um, this goes into the primary of our uh, resonance transformer that ramps the voltage up from at this instance here with this transformer running at like you know, half power or something, our output's going to be 10 kV that this primary is running at. We're going to ramp it up to over 20 kV in resonance, in megahertz resonance, high frequency resonance that's stimulated by this capacitor. And the high frequency megahertz resonance makes closed looping this with this source um, over here very easy because the waveform is short and it will fit in a short piece of wire that is the, as Don configured his unit, it is the input wire to the device, say right here. Uh, if these wire lengths are at the right 
length for the frequency that the device is operating at, you're going to, it's going to be closed looped wirelessly. Okay, so uh, we have our secondary here. This is our resonance transformer. This is our high voltage secondary. You can see I've brought it out to the 30 kV 2 amp diodes on both ends as Don uh, has it configured. Because this is only one side of the primary transformer, uh, this is not center tapped. Uh, we add our center node, our common, right here off of the center tap common from the source. Um, that's in resonance. It's all working at the same frequency. And uh, we bring that out as our negative supply to our capacitors. And this creates an artificial elevated neutral plane that we use as a ground reference for the secondary stage of the device. So you end up with the device right here. And this here all the way back is Don Smith resonance system. From this point forward after the diodes, this is the 6 kilovolt, 6 kV, 4 UF, DC stage number 2 disrupt, uh, to disruptive discharge. So this is your DC capacitor after this point. So up to that point, this is the SM60J. Anything after this point is a total um, different source of energy. It has zero relationship to the resonant source that supplies the charge to the capacitor. This energy here is disruptively discharged uh, to another pr uh, primary on a step-down transformer to increase the amperage by 20 times. A ratio of 20 to 1 should probably be used to get the voltage level to a level that we are able to utilize it and increase the amperage to such a dramatic level that, you know, one pulse could make the thing run for hours. All right, guys, so there is the entire device. The SM60J production model. Have a wonderful day.